out here on some of these off-roads and yeah. where there's not a lot of traffic, what we'll actually do is we'll plow backwards. As you can see, I'm actually plowing down the wrong side of the road. On the, what that helps do is helps push some of the snow to the other side so that when you get drifts, like we got a lot of drifts on this side, yeah. I'm trying to push them back even further because I can actually see this side of the road really close so I can get right over in the grass. Unreal. It blows so hard right here too. Oh, this is incredible. This, mean, is, this is one of the bigger areas that we have right. problems with. And I know these houses, that house there I know was uh, occupied. There was lights on there and tonight when I was out here. Okay. So there's, there's two or three people that live on this road and we, we got to get them access. Now, how often does it what, does power go out out here? I would think it goes out all the time. And occasionally, I mean, uh, the last storm we were, the whole island was out. Hopefully we won't have that problem again. But with this heavy snow, which is scaring me because it's getting on the wires, and you weigh them wires down, that's when we're going to start to have some issues. We'll probably swing in the Walt Winter Road and see if we can get those people out of there. And... So what do you do? You move the, you can move that you can baby. Move the blade, the blade angles left and right, and yeah. then up and down. Um, there are some more high-tech equipment blades out there, but the, uh, this is what we have, and it works very well. This is a highway plow. Designed for highway use. I'm trying to see where I'm going. And I've got about uh, 12 yards of sand on board, so I've, I've got some pretty good weight. So I that helps. I'm lucky for traction. Yes. Um, although it's still this truck will slide. There's no doubt about it. I mean. Yeah. So yeah, we headed back in the Hoyts Hollow. And the Are you going to go around? Yeah, I'm going to go back into town. No, we can't oh, no. visit a Lotus, so we're going to okay. go back to town. All right. Uh, luckily, we have a little bit of cleared, so if there was an emergency, we could get an apparatus or an ambulance or something down here. So visibility is still terrible. But... Oh, especially this route because you're going to kind of go into it. Yeah, we're going to be going into it. It's going to get really bad here. But at least we have the road mostly. I mean, you can see the yellow line barely, so it's, right. at least we know that. If they have to get a fire truck or an ambulance here, yeah, they can get down this road. Right. We are live, folks, here uh, on Pulpus Road on in, in Nantucket. And we are like in the middle of the, uh, the blizzard right now. I'm with David Gray, and we're in a 10 wheel, ten -wheel sterling. sterling plow truck, a highway style plow truck with a 12 foot blade on it. And it's uh, been slow going. Very slow going, yeah. Extremely slow going. I said we're just coming up now to... Where are we? Uh, that's, I think, coming up to Dick Hawkish's place again. Okay. Up here on the thing, so... It's, uh, it's just it's super treacherous. So listening to the radio, Nikki's having problems. Everyone's having problems with drips everywhere else. Breaks up the chasing the wastewater around all the time. I do love the wastewater, but this is just something that's. You know, Why do you it, love the wastewater? That kind of. I. It, what is it about it? it? It's just fascinating. I mean, it's such. A, there's so much to it. It's so complex, as you saw on the tours. Yes. That. Um, 
I mean, it changes every single day. There's always something different or a different problem or a different issue. And I mean, it's just like you know, plowing. It's different issues or snow drifts. Yes. And driving these big trucks is kind of it cool. takes it, it. It gets used to. It. I mean, it's not something you can just jump in and, and go. I've got my Class A, which is a higher rating class than what this truck requires. But uh, I've also been driving for years and years, so. I go slow enough to take my time. It's just some of these other people that worry me. It is. We don't put salt and stuff down during the middle of the Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you. What? Just because we keep on plowing it up so we, we'd run out of it oh i and, see uh, which and we're very what about sand right though sand and salt with both we're very low on right now oh, nice. and um so we're limiting our usage um to well during the night last night when the storm broke we were taking and plowing and sand in just the intersections yeah we, we call it the high seas yeah intersection hills and corners and um you, you can't even tell I was here an hour and a half until I was... No, you can't. Just before I picked you up, this is where I was. Hello. Uh, we're live, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're on the uh, Walt Whitted Road. I'm with David Gray, and we're in a 10-wheel uh, Sterling highway plow with a 12-foot blade. Yeah, uh, just giving you a, know. kind of a live play-by-play -play here on the storm. Yeah. All right. Who did it, Tommy or Bobby? It's beautiful, oh. though. I have to say. I mean, it's. Um, I guess it's the first time we've had two blizzards. Okay, I'll come as I can. And there it is. Yes. That's that's Popus Harbor right there. This is Eat Fire Spring Road. And, uh, and there it is. Right yeah, at the, right yeah, at the there it road. is. Dude. I don't know what time the tide was. Luckily, we didn't get a storm surge, big storm surge this time. Right. the last storm. The last storm. And you, what do you want to say about that? I mean, what well, I, to the couch critics, I mean, to see what we're going through today and uh, with what we have, the limited resources that we have, and you just saw the visibility and everything. I mean, it's, it's extremely dangerous out here and luckily we haven't had much traffic today. That's been a, a pretty good godsend. But the, um, I mean, we took it really hard in the newspaper. And you know, I, I want to defend the guys because they did the best they could do. We did the best we could do. You know what I have to say to that? Try going over to Hyannis for a second and look at their roads. Well, I got to say, I they came, were terrible. I came through Hyannis and they were worse than what this is. I know. So, someone call me. Very surprised we haven't seen any deer. through here, David. Wow. Yeah, this is like, oh, seven miles an hour. That's, that's it. Well, he's not going downtown, though. He's not. Hey, Paul. What's up, buddy? What's up, Gino? How you hanging? Oh, I thought you were Libby. Libby? A passenger. Oh, oh. my gosh. Oh. How's that thing running? Uh, I got the red lights on now, so I think it's just that sensor. Yeah. It's... I'm going to put it in here, pop the hood. Yeah, it's, it's got to be. That thing's always messing up. Yeah. Where are you going, Paul? Uh, Mid Island, back up to Bartlett Farm. Oh, okay. He's going to go with Nikki downtown to see the flooding. Is it flooding? I guess it's a, yeah, the water's right on the wall when it rode. 
Well, I guess we won't have to salt down there, huh? I guess not. <laughs> All right, be safe, huh? All right, Take buddy. care, Paul. See you, man.